Value Creation on Instagram If you've ever read a book called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, the protagonist tries to define quality. It is impossible to put into words exactly what gives content a value. In the book, Phaedrus realizes that although it can't be defined, we all have this intuitive understanding of what is and is not good quality. As a marketer, this really made a lot of sense. We normally use the word value instead of quality. You might not know exactly what every reader wants, but we all know what is good and what is bad, and what is good as value or quality. Your tweet is content, or a channel to content, and you need to create value in this content. How do you do that? Think about it like this. The audience needs to get something out of your post. Entertainment, humor, social or intellectual confirmation, the belief that your content can in some way improve their lives. Thinking about the value of every tweet you post is a step in the right direction. There is no right or wrong way to go about value creation. In online marketing, we aim to become an authority, and to do so, we give away content, example the tweets. People pay attention to an authority, and if you keep the content wheel turning, people will see value. Consider Caitlin's battle against cancer. Conversion, retweet. Call to action, please retweet. Value, fighting cancer and cancer awareness. Tweet from Monica. Saying that other people's marriage is against your religion is like saying that I can't have cake and ice cream because you are on a diet. This tweet reaffirms the belief of millions of people. It is unique because of its wit. Stir these two ingredients together and you have a viral tweet. Many businesses will shy away from posting something like this because it is controversial. I recommend you tackle the controversial. Think about all the reasons why this tweet works and don't forget we are marketing to humans. We are a flawed backwards bunch and you will do well to remember that. How to write a tweet. Twitter is all about engagement. As a platform, it allows you to send short messages very quickly. It is great for building credibility and drawing people to your main hub, a website, blog, or Facebook page. You want to keep your tweet short and sweet. It needs to intrigue a potential reader. That being said, it needs to remain relevant to the post or you run the risk of coming off as a clickbait, a surefire way to damage your reputation. When writing content, it is common practice to spend almost as much time on your headlines as your content. The same mentality needs to be applied to your tweets, because the quality of your tweet is what will get people to read the article. You can include anything that grabs people's attention. A quote from your content. According to Twitter, a quote is 54% more likely to be retweeted. Relevant hashtags will display your tweet to people looking at similar topics. You should create a hashtag that aligns with your product. Tweeting pictures is a very effective strategy when done correctly. It's much easier to engage someone with a picture than it is with words alone. If you post a picture of your product or offer a clever bit of shareable content, you can attract more attention than you ever could with just words. The picture doesn't have to be related to your product. Here is a photo Intel shared on the 4th of July. 90 retweets in just 10 hours. I cannot overstate the importance of establishing a conversation. The best practice on a social platform is to be social. Have opinions and leave insightful comments. Get involved as much as you can. These are the activities that will build you a reputation and an audience. Help other people in your niche. This is often overlooked because aspiring marketers wrongly think of it as a competition. The internet is a massive pie. All you need is a small piece of the pie and you'll eat for life. Essentially, what I'm saying is that the benefits of engaging in a community with a larger audience than you would otherwise be advertising to far outweigh the drawbacks of extra competition. A word of caution. Etiquette and having a thick skin is vital to successful digital marketing. Staying out of the wrong conversations is just as important as getting involved in the right ones. People will talk down your achievements and hey, that's life. You need to ignore the hacks and the snakes who have nothing to add to the conversation but negativity and skepticism. These people will often work to your advantage and draw more people into the conversation. Tact is important. 
Remember when your mother told you that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything? Never has that been more applicable than when marketing on social media.